my mind is like literally f***ing blown right now. Did you see how they just took that lady out of that footage? So if you're a fan of this channel and you subscribe, then you know that this is all about helping beginners make better videos for YouTube. Now, if you consider yourself a pretty technically advanced person, this whole update to Adobe After Effects should be mind blowing to you. This is nuts. I've heard about it. Um, I haven't watched the video yet. I don't know how it works quite yet, but we're going to do that. We're going to do that right now. So Adobe has added the ability to mask out and content aware fill in video, which is insane. Like in Photoshop, if you don't want something in your photo, you can go ahead and you know put a little selection around it and hit content aware fill and it will take some pixels from all over the photo and it'll try to basically get rid of what you don't want there and build a background for you. For video, this is insane. I don't really understand how it works quite yet, but that's what we're gonna do right now. So let's check that out. This video introduces the new content aware fill panel inside of Adobe After Effects. I'll show you what it is and how it works. What? Now the clip I'll be using comes from Adobe Stock. Powered by Adobe Sensei, content aware fill leverages intelligent algorithms to remove unwanted objects from video by temporarily harvesting pixels from other video frames or images to replace unwanted objects now, a typical use case what? for content to wear fill. Get is out of here. Let's, whoa. Let's just pause this right now. Uh, okay. So if this is the same clip, then you're going to see that this program, the algorithm, whatever he's talking about right now, has taken this flagpole out. These people are gone. Blue thing right here. It's supposed to be like right there. This is gone. This is gone. This is crazy. To remove production equipment that has been inadvertently oh captured my in a God. shot, such as camera crew, what? cables, wires, and even boom microphones. Additionally, this tool set is also indispensable for immersive VR projects, as there's nowhere off camera to hide crew. Get. Try. All right, shut up. Now, if you've ever spent any time like on a film set, or anything like that, then you know that you're gonna run into problems with, uh, you know, equipment in the background, things like that. It's just a, it's a mess. But look at this. If this is a true before and after, I mean, like, there is the guy. That's the guy right there. And in this shot, he is not there. iPods or lights. So let's get to it. I've created a composition matching the size of my clip. We've been tasked with removing the subject in order to have a clean plate for an intro title free from any large movements being generated behind it. In order to identify to After Effects what we'd like to remove, okay. we're going to create a mask and keyframe it just using a couple of keyframes. So basically what he's saying is as long as the background isn't too complicated, as long as there's not much movement in the background, this program should be able to go and reconstruct the background while masking out whatever we're taking out in the foreground. I'm going to select the clip and head over to my shape menu where I'll select my ellipse tool. I'll then draw that mask right around the subject. And I'm going to press the M key to reveal the mask path. And I'm going to switch my mask mode from add to none so I can see the entire video image. I'll click the stopwatch to add a keyframe on the first frame of this clip and then move to the end of my composition. Here, I'll select the default selection tool, reposition the mask, clicking off of it, then selecting its individual points in order uh, to reframe super the cool. mask so that it encompasses this subject on this particular frame. I'll then move my current time indicator back Readjusting and then only he's gonna on a few frames expand the mask that mask to make sure the subject is encompassed over the entire period of my shot. Once satisfied, I'll switch the mask mode from none back to subtract. Currently in my default workspace, I will use these arrows to switch over to motion tracking, where a content aware fill panel will show up. This I'll is dock so this cool. Just to the this side is of so the composition cool. window and add an alpha expansion of about 25. The fill method is currently set to object, which is great for removing a person. However, if you have a logo or another type of object you'd like to remove, you can use one of the other modes. 
making sure that my range work area is entirely being used, I'll generate a fill layer on my subject. After Effects is gonna analyze the footage and then render and create a fill PNG sequence above it within our timeline. This has to be absolutely hell on your processor. Uh, I can't even imagine how long this takes, something like this, but how cool was that, that he only had to draw a sloppy mask around this lady, you know, put your keyframe in the beginning, go to the very end, mask her again, move the, uh, you know, the mask path around a little bit, and then like maybe a few more times throughout the clip, just to make sure that she stays within the mask. How cool was that? It's not like we're outlining, you know, very detailed things. That's, that's awesome. Well, we do have the option to create a reference frame or several within Photoshop. We'll let AE do its magic and see the type of results we'll get. <laughs> we'll just let, part is, we'll let even while AE this do its magic. We'll be able to work in After Effects in the background. Let's let After Effects. Oh, they had to have sped that up. By its they had to have sped that up. The end result. Once the render is complete, notice a new layer. Look how fast that timeline. rendered. Here's the fill layer, and if I just solo it. For I mean, a it second, looks good as a still. Has been created oh, what? Based on the mask that you keyframed earlier. If I turn this back on, we take a look at it with the footage. Let me head over to my preview window, reveal its properties, and enter a full screen playback so we can see the end result that After Effects has calculated. As you can see, After Effects has done a pretty great job in order to remove the subject from the shot. There Shut are up! Complicated examples that you can fix, including oh yeah, footage, it's video. I mean, like everything else is moving. That lady's shop. gone. But I hope this demonstrates some of the power of content-aware fill and how that works with your video process. <laughs> what? This is nuts. I can't even tell you how many times I've had clients approach me about this, like this specifically, like, hey, I know it's video. Are we able to take this out of the video? And honest to God, I mean, my answer is no. I mean, if you guys know anything about rotoscoping, that is a bitch and a half. Rotoscoping sucks. Let's just say you're shooting at 30 frames per second and you have a 10 second clip that you need to take something out of. You have to go and select something 300 times. 300 times, okay? That could take you a day. That could take you a day and a half. This is nuts. I Did you see how they just took that lady out of that footage? You're shooting an establishing shot of the outside of a building and a car goes past or a person starts walking through your frame uh, across the street or something like that. You can literally mask that person out. That guy's gone. That car's gone. You know, somebody sees something in the video. Your client sees something in the video that they don't want there. And they're just like, eh, can you take that out? At this point, now you can say, yes, I can. This is crazy. This is like magic. This is black magic. Yeah.